Our topic is an intriguing topic. The Quran, the Great War, and the West. And while there are many, many in the world who are already expecting that there is going to be a Great War, and it will be comparable and even greater than the two Great Wars we've already had in the last century, the First World War, the Second World War. Today, mankind lives in what is known as the fast lane, where things are moving faster and yet faster. But our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, told us that there is going to be akhir zaman or the end time. And we know we are living in the end time when, for example, he said, women will be dressed and yet naked. He is speaking with his companion, Mu'az ibn Jabal. And he says to him, Gamaz, that when Jerusalem is center stage, now recognized as the capital of the state of Israel, using the analogy of construction, when Jerusalem is center stage, then look to Yathrib. And Yathrib will be in ruins, in the Yani, playing absolutely no role in the world. In forlorn desolation. At that time, he said, the next event that will occur, major event, he said, Kharabu Yathrib Khurujul Malhama. That the next event to occur when Jerusalem has reached center stage and Yathrib is in forlorn desolation would be the Great War. He went on to say, Khurujul Malhama Fathul Constantinia. That when the Great War takes place, the next event to occur would be the conquest of Constantinople. And then he went on to say, Fathul Constantinia, Khurujul Dajjal. That after the conquest of Constantinople, the next event which will occur would be Dajjal appearing in human form. And so now you can see that Islamic eschatology has something to offer in explaining the Great War. Because the Great War does not take place in a vacuum, by accident. But rather, the Great War forms part of a sequence of events. I turn to Surah Al-Isra of the Qur'an, which is Surah number 17. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns, and there is not a single town or city that will escape, but we will destroy them before the end of the world. This is not Qiyamah, the end of the world. No, this is before the end of the world, before Qiyamah. And those which escape destruction will be punished with terrible punishment. And this is inscribed in the book. Now, those are powerful words of Surah Al-Isra. We now turn to an amazing prophecy of Prophet Muhammad والسلام, pertaining to the Great War. The Hadith is in Sahih Bukhari, and the Prophet وسلم, prophesied that the river Euphrates will uncover a mountain of gold. A mountain of gold will come out from underneath the river, and people will fight for that gold. And 99 out of every 100 who fight for that gold will be killed. So in that war, 99% of all combatants will be killed. There has never been a war in all of human history in which 99% of all combatants have been killed. Never. So that is the great war. But he said, each will say, I will be the one who will survive. So when the war is fought, no one is certain of what's going to be the outcome. But the believers must not touch that gold. And when the great war takes place, the 99 out of every 100 will be killed. We now turn to an analysis of what kind of war will it be. It has to be a war with weapons of mass destruction. It cannot be conventional warfare. Only a war fought with weapons of mass destruction, like nuclear weapons and thermonuclear weapons and other weapons we don't know of, can achieve the result of 99% of all combatants being killed.